Hi, everybody. We are uh, pleased to welcome Professor Karim Ben Salah uh, from, uh, from Rennes, France, who just gave a talk about the uh, state of art of renal angiomyopathy lymphoma uh, of the kidney. <clears throat> Karim, uh, what are the three uh, take home messages you want to share with the community? Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, the first thing uh, you have to be aware of when you decide on the optimal management of uh, angiomyelopomas is that the evidence is very low. What we have in the literature is uh, basically mostly uh, case series, very few comparative studies and no randomized trials. So that's the first point. Second point is that uh, the first treatment of sporadic angiomyelopoma should be uh, active civilians. The incidence of uh, bleeding is quite rare and these tumors grow very slowly, approximately one millimeter per year, and many, many of these tumors will not grow uh, uh, with time. Uh, and third thing, uh, there's a widely uh, acknowledgement of a four centimeter cutoff that's based mostly on uh, nothing, and uh, there is very little evidence to uh, state that uh, the risk of bleeding is related to tumor site. It might be the case. So uh, the decision of active treatment should not rely solely on tumor size, but rather on uh, many other factors of, uh, such as age, tumor growth, patients' preferences, uh, or the occurrence of uh, any events of just pain or uh, bleeding. 